Bartopili principles are guidelines on how government employees and other public servants should behave when engaging with the public and when providing service to members of the community. Welcome to Kano Talks. This is where we talk about everything relating to public administration. With this podcast, we aim to clarify and simplify some of the aspects of public administration, public management, and public finance. So, if you are interested in the fields of public administration, political science, public finance, and the overall management of the public sector, including the running of government, then make sure you follow us or subscribe to our podcast show. In this episode, we explain what Bartopili is, as well as where this concept originated from. We also list the Bartopili principles applicable to public servants in South Africa and further aim to clarify each of these principles. Now, let's get into today's topic. As a starting point, we explain what Bartopili is. Bartopili is an expression in Seso 2, which means people first. In the context of the public service in South Africa, the concept Bato Pili refers to putting members of the public first and considering their needs and priorities when rendering government services. The Bato Pili initiative was launched in 1997 by the South African government through a white paper on transforming public service delivery. The aim of this initiative was to transform the public service and instill a culture of accountability and caring by public servants. Primarily, the white paper on Bato Pili is about how public services should be provided, and specifically, about improving the efficiency and effectiveness of the way in which government services and other public sector services must be delivered. There are eight Bato Pili principles which were developed to serve as acceptable policy and legislative framework regarding service delivery within the public service. These principles are aligned with the following constitutional ideals of promoting and maintaining high standards of professional ethics, providing service impartially, fairly, equitably, and without bias, utilizing resources efficiently and effectively, responding to people's needs, where citizens are encouraged to participate in policy making, and rendering an accountable, transparent, and development-oriented public administration. The eight Bato Pili principles are as follows. Consultation. Service standards. Access. Courtesy. Information. Openness and transparency. Redress. And, value for money. These principles are expressed in broad terms in order to enable the various government's departments and other public sector institutions both at national and provincial level, as well as, at local government level, to apply them, in accordance with their own needs, and circumstances. We will now discuss, each of these principles, in more detail. The principle of consultation means that, citizens should always be consulted on what their needs are, as well as, consulted about the level and quality of the public services they receive, and, wherever possible, citizens should be given a choice about the services that they are offered. Under the principle of service standards, citizens should be told what level and quality of public services they will receive. This is to ensure that they are aware of what to expect. Citizens should also have equal access to the services they are entitled to. This means that government employees, municipal officials, and other public servants should ensure that all members of the public have equal access to government services. The courtesy principle means that citizens should be treated with courtesy and consideration, meaning that members of the public and community members must be treated with politeness when provided with government assistance or government services. The information principle means that citizens should be given full and accurate information about government services. This means that, government officials should always endeavor to make information about government services available, to the public. The principle of openness and transparency means that, citizens should be told how the various government institutions are operated, how much it costs to run them, 
as well as, who is in charge. This principle also means that, members of the public must be informed about the expected rates, tariffs, and prices, for the various services offered by the government. The public must further be informed, about the proposed budgets of the various government institutions. The principle of redress means that, should government fail to deliver the standard of service, as promised, citizens should be offered an apology, as well as, a full explanation, and a speedy and effective remedy. It is also important that, when affected members of the public complain to the government, these complaints are received in a sympathetic manner, and that positive feedback is provided. The value for money principle means that, public services should be provided economically and efficiently. This is to ensure that, citizens are given the best possible value for money. This also means that, government services, and by extension municipal services, should be provided as efficiently as possible. And that cost-effective measures are developed, and implemented. These are the eight Barto Pili principles. Which of these principles do you think government needs to improve on? The White Paper on Transforming Public Service Delivery states that the Barto Pili principles are applicable to sections of the public sector, both national and provincial, which are regulated by the Public Service Act. However, this White Paper further clarifies that these Barto Pili principles are also relevant to other public sector employees, who might be regulated, by other legislation. This essentially means that, the Barto Pili principles, are applicable to all employees and officials in the public sector, including, employees in the national departments, provincial departments, municipalities, as well as, employees in parastatals, chapter 9 institutions, and state-owned companies. This extends to, teachers in the education departments, as well as, employees in the South African Police Service, the South African National Defence Force, and the Intelligence Services. In conclusion, Wato Pili principles, are essentially guidelines, on how government employees, and other public servants, should behave, when engaging with the public, and when providing service, to members of the community. These principles are also aimed at improving service delivery by encouraging public servants to prioritize serving people and essentially putting people first when delivering such service. Therefore, these principles encourage government employees to be flexible, innovative, and proactive when providing government services to the public. We've come to the end of today's episode. Thank you for tuning in, and if you really liked our content, don't forget to share this episode with your friends and family, and tell them about our podcast. We'd also appreciate if you could rate and review this episode, and our podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode. Join us again next time, for another episode. Until then, check out our other episodes. Kano Talks this is yet another informative and educational audio episode proudly brought to you by Kano Consultants.